Hey folks, how's it going? Post here and welcome to October. It's the first of the month, which means a lot of shops have reset. So I guess it's time to go through them all, starting with Grand Blue Fantasy. Mostly rings and moons, because again, the sooner you do this, the better. Three more lineage rings and three more intricacy ones. Uh, when it comes to the rest of the shop, I used to buy a lot of these flawed prisms because they help with the Eternals and the Evokers, but I'm kind of done with them, so even trading prisms isn't really a thing I do often. Uh, on top of these, of course, there's the potions. Farm a few events, you can buy a ton of half elixirs with materials that you're never really going to spend otherwise. Uh, another thing that needs to be checked is the friend points shop. This one also resets and bi-monthly we get a really, really nice sunlight shard. This is an absolute must buy whenever it comes out. Uh, moons too, but I need to farm some more friend points for them. After this we've got the casino, as this one too has a few elixirs that refresh monthly. And the casino chips should no longer be an issue. Still, that's it for the monthly resets, all that's left to do is just the usual dailies. And so we move on to Arknights, with my little Italian wolf right here. This is where the search shop resets. As for the second one, we've got two permits in here, which are going to need a couple more green certs. As for the distinctions, I don't really have any character I'm currently waiting for, so I don't really mind spending some for headhunting permits, but I want to wait to have a few more resources before buying them, as the further we go, the cheaper they get, and I would love to get at least 310 part. When it comes to actual pools, I'm just waiting for W Alter to come out. There are 10 in here, 20 should be around 30 to 40 pools mark. And hopefully that's going to be a little bit higher before that happens. Still have some content to play as well, so fingers crossed I can put my hands on her. Next up we got the Hoyoverse, starting with Genshin. Hardest exchange. Five and five up to TK here plus 20 for a grand total of 585 pools. But for this, we're waiting next week for Ziloen. As for the standard band ones, don't think I care that much about the actual characters. I think I would rather get some extra weapons. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Oh. Okay, Candace is fine. I hear she's making a bit of a comeback now that Molani is a thing. But even though I have her leveled up, I don't really have her well built. Uh, Dia was like 40 45 rolls ago. And so we board the express and move on to Star Rail. Since the shop mechanics are basically the same. Uh, wait, it's 900. Let me buy these first, because these I can always buy afterwards. We've got Lingsha coming out in a couple of days, and I will be pulling for her. So I can buy the rest of the tickets. 273, just going up to 275. On the other hand, it's been a while since I last gotten a 5 star from the standard banner. Uh, this is 74, so hopefully I can hit another 5 star right now. And yeah, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Welt. He's the only standard banner character I'm still missing. And even though I'm not even sure if I'll even be building him, I really want to complete the collection. <laughs> Oh, and there it is. This wealth. Okay, that's still fine. That's one nice E to clear up. And honestly, I don't think it could have gone any better. Either her or Imeko. 
I would actually love an E2 Himeko. But still, they are standard banner units, they're going to come home eventually. And considering I didn't get Yunli, I didn't get Butil, she's still my go-to physical damage dealer. So getting a C2, actually not that bad. Next up we've got Zenless, but Zenless made me suffer a little bit. I managed to get some of the better standard banner ones. He came home instead of Jane, and this one hurt. This one hurt a lot. I would have loved to get that rat instead, but I had to lose this 50-50. On top of this, I was also trying to get the weapon for Ellen, but I whiffed that out horribly. So I'm now at 13 rolls before PT. I don't even know who I'm going for at this point, but if I get some extra two pulls on the next big damage dealing character, then yeah, I will be going for both character and weapon. Otherwise, I might just wait for Ellen's weapon rerun again. Still, after losing the 50-50 to Likaon, I had the guarantee for Caesar, so that is at least one little bright spot on the entire account. What's not so bright is the sheer amount of materials that it's going to take to level up all my units, as she's stuck at 30. I've been struggling quite a little bit, next ones should be my other damage dealers, and unless I get Neko, I think I might actually level up Piper. Honestly, she's quite fun too. And let's get our pools. Now, when it comes to actually rolling, I don't think I'll be pulling for any of the new characters, the next three ones. I know skipping Burn Ice is going to hurt, but to be honest, I'm not that big a fan of a Fire Anomaly unit, and I already have Soldier 11 to take care of the damage dealing in that team. What I really would want now is Nikomata, and we have six pulls here, and I would love it if I could just pick Koleda from that one. Okay, one A rank, and there we go. Well, we got one, uh, one weapon ball, we are fun like this. Again, 60 until the next S rank, and almost another 100 until the selectable. Um, two, and three, the missing ones. I hear Miyabi is supposed to be ice, but I don't think they're going to release another ice DPS this close to Ellen. If anything, I think she might be either electric as a plain damage dealer instead of an anomaly one, so that you build a different electric team altogether. But otherwise, yeah, I'm basically waiting for someone to come fill these slots. Next up, another little game that sort of parrots the same shot mechanics as the Hoyoverse ones. But yeah, this one I absolutely love for how insanely chill and comfy it is. The story can get a little bit heartbreaking and heavy, but at the same time the entire vibes of the game are absolutely fantastic. A pawn shop, we got 10 unilogs. And thankfully, this is a single resource gacha. When it comes to these 10 pools, I was very, very afraid I had to burn them on the Lucy banner, but I was able to hit that PT a little bit earlier, so she's just... Yeah. Waiting for materials to be leveled up. I managed to bring up Semmelweis, but Lucy is absolutely killing me when it comes to materials. It might take a couple of weeks to get her up, but at least she's here. Moving on next, we've got Sword of Convaleria. This one is a little over two months old, but I've been really enjoying the tactical aspect of it. It's basically Final Fantasy Tactics, but gacha. And thankfully, the gacha mechanics are also fairly light. Uh, Rap has reset yesterday, and of course I bought all of the base resources, as well as the legendary Radiant Ores. This is all the most important stuff. Mori Crystals, we're waiting for the legendary character selection. Signia, yeah, we have the legendary trinkets, and for this, I'm going to need one of the rings. Either the rings with the extra skills, or the spell book that gives a speed buff. That's still fine, this goes on barrel. Another attempt in here. 
That's still fine. That goes on barrel. <laughs> what the hell? And another doom, uh, Doomsday Scythe. Yeah, that's kind of trash. As for everything else, this one's always nice. And then we have the dust, experience, and money. Uh, these come from clearing the tower, something I still haven't done, so I should still be able to buy all three down here. Uh, Gear-wise, thankfully, this is all easily farmable stuff. We're getting the last upgrade for Perils Weapon. <laughs> nice. And there we go. Kambe is going to be here for a little bit longer, until the 11th. After Akambe, we don't know if we're going to move forward to Oma or if we're going to go to Safia, but I think those are the main two options. If it's neither of them, and if you actually get the Blue Assassin from Elamen, that's going to be another skip, but my next two targets are Oma and Safia. To check history, there's a any type guarantee in 14 summons and here there's a guaranteed rate up in 70 we're at 40 pools 11 more days with all the new content i don't think we're going to hit 70 but maybe we should be in the high 50s to 60s so whether oma or safia releases i should be fine for either if not both and there we go nice and patched one little difference between this and the Hoyoverse games is that the shop resets once per version rather than once per month, but at the same time we also get a few more pools. If not her, I think I might want to save for the Camellia, the Flower Girl, but I hear the Flower Girl is going to be yet another dark DPS one, and I'm already running the main character to do that. Let's burn these eight pools first. And let's pray to the gacha gods that we can get lucky. Uh, there should be PT somewhere too, but I have honestly no idea how deep within PT I am. Level 4 star, that's nice. For variation, which is a new one too. And 17 pools. You never know. Oh, Chishia. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how insanely beautiful. I really need to get back in Wuthering Ways, man. Especially when the game just loves you like this. But, 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 but yeah, no, the, the, this is destiny made manifest. Got an energy recharge weapon just before Shorekeeper. <laughs> and yeah, now Kuro Games absolutely nailed it with the models. These are so, so damn pretty. Now, what do you even do? I have no idea. Yeah, th this is something I'm not a big fan of, the way, just how floaty the combat can feel sometimes. And they've done this with most of their newly released units. Well, I'm a bit more of a fan of the grounded combat. Uh, looks like charging up per skill is also fairly easy. It's like 5 hits, it's basically instantaneous. And this one pulls enemies together. Well, yeah, I definitely need to come back to Wuthering Waves a little bit. Especially if the game wants to treat me this well. Still, that's all I've been juggling for the time being, and I guess I've got to stop here. Let me know if you're in a similar situation, because I know there's a couple degenerates out there who are playing as many gacha games as I am. God.
Ura. Uh, yeah, see you guys around soon. Ciao.